<laughs> Hello, Hello Life Hacker, Hacker family. family. Welcome to another episode. This is by far the most exciting episode in the history of our YouTube channel. I'm about to explode. Oh my gosh, me too. This is in an interview with one of our students who have gone through our system. Her name is Alex. She is the cutest girl you will ever meet. I'm obsessed with her. I want her to be my best friend. Yeah, so basically Alex watched our YouTube videos. So if you're new, uh, she just went through the YouTube series and followed our free system. <laughs> Uh, if you've been here a while, like you understand what, you know, we teach how to sell an Etsy through a, our particular system of drop shipping, so on and so forth. But Alex uh, just found us on YouTube, searching stuff, and took massive action. Kudos to her. Uh, and yeah, so she's uh, like 60 days in and just went from zero uh, to $7,000 in 60 days. So uh, this is an in depth sit down where Kelsey and I interview her. We talk about her process a little bit. And it's just unbelievable. So if you're whether you're just getting started or you're like already you know selling on Etsy um, or new to this process, like this is going to be so helpful. She has so many insights because she's in the trenches, just getting started. So she talks about things like her struggles. She talks about things that like you know she wish she would have done differently. Uh, she gives a couple tips at the end uh, that are just you know if you're somewhat new are priceless. So we are so excited. Enjoy this sit down interview with us and Alex and how she went from zero to 7,000 in revenue in the last 60 days. So we love you. Hi everyone. My name is Alex and I want to share with you how I made over $7,000 in just about two months with uh, the life hacker couple method. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we're so excited. Thank you so much. We're so honored for you to be sitting down with us and taking the time. Yes. Uh, I know that Everybody watching really appreciates it. There's a lot of people just getting started, just like yourself. And we're excited to hear about your story. So, Thank you. I mean, it's been really amazing. Um, an amazing couple months. I had a store uh, since 2011 and I it was making no money. I sold various things. I had like a product I invented in, in 2011 for shoes and that kind of went nowhere. And then I tried selling some shirts and that didn't go anywhere. And literally one day I was browsing the internet. I don't even know how I found you Love or it. why I was looking on YouTube, like, but you came up and I clicked and I was like hooked immediately. Oh and like, your vibe, your energy is like everything. So I was like, oh, okay. Like they definitely know what they're talking about and I'm going to listen. Um, and I did. <laughs> and <it's> Amazing. <laughs> well, a huge hat yeah. off to you for taking all the action. You deserve all the credit. So. Yes, 100%. Yeah, there's a lot of great knowledge out there, but there's very few people that take action. So yeah. you bridge that gap. So congratulations. Yay. 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 <laughs> well, well, that's amazing. Um, yeah, so like uh, you said, you know, you kind of just browse the internet. What, um, and you, and you saw us, you kind of got inspired, you, you know, some of the videos kind of resonated with you. Uh, and then at what point did you kind of realize like, okay, this might be for me. Like, I'm going to start like put some of this stuff together. So I watched like a few of them and everything you were saying made sense to me. And it was something I'm, I have a background in, in some direct to garment printing and I've worked with uh, Printful and other areas. I've had a, another business. I still have another business that I, um, also make shirts, but it was a very specific niche and it really just never went anywhere. But I wanted to take this, this knowledge and really apply it to something. And I said, finally, I'm going to start designing not just what I want, but I want to design for other people. And like, I want to, I want to make things that sell finally, you know, I want to make money. That is the goal, obviously. Yes. 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 That people like, um, and I was kind of sick of having a business that was not like I never got to experience that sale after sale, after sale, after sale in a day. Um, and I really wanted to know what that felt like. That's awesome. That, that's so well, that, that's a huge desire. I mean, that, that's really cool to kind of pinpoint that, that fire. And I feel like, you know, if you're out there watching this, like, you know, what is that fire? You know, you're sitting down watching this video, you know, looking at us discuss, like, you know, identify that fire that's within you, uh, similar to Alex and, you know, understand that that's there for a reason. Sometimes that little piece of fire uh, really is the thing that actually like is, it's basically like our drive to help us get through whatever, like, you know, our own way is essentially, and you want to fulfill that desire. And so that's really cool. That's awesome for you to be able to identify that. So very cool. Very cool. I can see why you're doing so great. Yes. You just have had it like in you for so long and maybe like you just hadn't figured out like what door to go through and now you have. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. It took a lot, you know, you, I think you have to get your ego out of the way a lot of times and I'm an artist I have an art background and I'm, I design and I do all kinds of stuff but 
I was so hung up on like things had to look a very specific way and it had to be what I would wear. And it had to be like this. And I was like, okay, no, not people aren't buying it. Like it's clearly not working. <laughs> I have to do something different. You know, it's like, I didn't think my stuff was bad, but it just was the niche was weird. And like now to broaden it with Etsy and to use Etsy as this amazing vehicle and then Printful, of course, is like so amazing. I can't wait to invest in them when they go public. I'm like, yeah, so I know, right? Real fan. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's do, let's do. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I feel like that is like, you know, a really interesting thing. I feel like a ton of people, uh, you know, kind of have the exact same emotions that you have. I feel like those are very common emotions. And I feel like the only difference is, is that you overcame them, you know, understanding that like, okay, like I have this desire, this is what I want to obtain. Um, but I have to kind of get uncomfortable. I got to do something that I haven't done. I got to learn some different stuff. I got to design in a way that's not necessarily stuff that I love and that I like. And, and that's a huge principle, you know, Kelsey, Kelsey, we've been, you know, doing entrepreneurship for 10 years now. And Kelsey, there was a, um, this, what, uh, what is his name? Glenn Sturgeon? No, Glenn. I can't remember his last name, but there's this amazing entrepreneur, this billionaire entrepreneur. And he always talked about, um, that you have to like, know what your customer wants and yeah. then make it. And it's like, that's just such a huge principle. And it's really hard because nobody tells us that. And so like, I feel like that is one principle that we've always been like huge advocators of and like really trying to push. Um, but it's kind of counterintuitive. You kind of like feel like your gears are right. going this way and you're going yes. this way and you're yeah. like, I don't know. Like I, I'm used to doing whatever I want in life. Like this is yeah. weird, right? Especially yeah. as an artist, right? Especially as, you know, it, it, even if you're, you know, it's almost, you know, it's kind of paradoxical is that almost if you, um, are as, you know, and maybe people are like, Oh, well, I'm not an artist. You know, it actually is kind of in some, in some ways it's easier because if you're not an artist, you don't have that attachment. And so yes. you're not like getting in your own way. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> excuse me. You're like, I'll put that funny quote on and whatever, you know, they don't, they don't care about That's it. Like, sure. go. Yeah, yeah. So if you're an artist, you can hundred percent do this. And if you're not an artist, you might actually have a small advantage by just creating, <laughs> <laughs> creating things. Point. Totally. Yeah, yeah, creating things that, you know, that sell and people like, and, and, and that's what the whole, you know, that's what our whole free, you know, Etsy system is about, um, you know, our dropshipping system is about, it's like, you know, we don't have some thousand, two thousand dollar course to sell. It's like, you just go through our YouTube channel. So this is the first video you guys have ever seen of us. And you're like, you just found us. It's like this whole system that she's talking about was, you know, for free on YouTube. We just put it out there. And so yeah. there's uh, so good. much you guys give. I think, I hope people understand how much information you're giving and how valuable it is. And it's like that in and of itself, like being able to watch every video. And I tell, I'm trying to get family and friends into this now, of course, because you want everyone to make money and you want everyone to be successful. And okay. like, and like just watch the videos from start to finish. Just do it. Yes. If yes. you're watching this, go back and watch every single video. Like, I know. It, it is. I really appreciate that. I feel like you are, you know, and of course, you know, you have the success that you had because of this, but it's like, it really, really is hard for people to identify the value. Like, you know, if, if, you know, if people, uh, you know, if someone gave us this, like when we started, you know, like just this roadmap, oh, yeah. like we wouldn't know what to do, right? Like it would have saved, you know, years of our time. Um, so it is very interesting. I do appreciate you mentioning that because it really is. It's, it, I would say in all honesty, I mean, maybe actually this is a good question. We've never even asked this question, but mm -hmm. it's like, if we had like a full course, right? Like this is our online, how to have a POD business. Like what would be like after, go, like, say you went through everything and now it's like, we're like, okay, just pay us whatever you think is like a fair amount within reason of like what the value would be that you obtained from that. Any number, just oh. number that comes like th thousands of dollars so a thousand bucks at least a thousand yeah, bucks yeah so a thousand dollar course so for everyone out there listening there's a thousand dollar course yeah. for free yeah. on our youtube <laughs> channel maybe multiple thousands i would say multiple thousands because it's like there's no limit to how much money you can make from yeah. this information so it's it's yeah. that's how valuable it's infinite value <laughs> I love you so much for that. It makes me so happy that you see us. Like that. I mean, because it was you're, you're definitely my people. I, I saw it right away. I was like, oh yeah, I get it. Like I get the whole vibe. It's like we have a kid the same age. Like the whole thing is like crazy. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's something you know. And I'm, I'm honestly, you are the person that we designed the course from. When we 100%. were when we were sitting at dinner that night. 
uh, around the holidays, around this time. And we're like, we should make a freaking, you know, everyone was like, make a course, make a course, make a course. And we're like, no, nah. like, we're going to put it on YouTube for free. Yeah. We never felt comfortable with it. It just never made sense no. to us. We're just like, I feel like, and this is why I'm going to tell you exactly why. And it was literally, literally you, like literally like our souls knew that you were out there because we exact in that exact night where we were like, we're going to put this on YouTube for free is because there's stay at home moms, there's busy mothers, there's, you know, dads that need a little bit of side income. There's people that weren't going to be able to drop $2,000 yeah. on a whim on two, you know, God, you know, we are, you know, very integrous, like loving people, but it's like, you know, are we that loving? Where are you going to give us, you know, if you don't have any money, how are you going to give us 2000? Right. Yeah. And so like our goal was to be like, there's people like exactly like you, Alex, out there in the world that need this more than anything. Like the, you know, the difference at $500 a month, a thousand dollars a month. And like you said, unlimited income. I mean, you know, you know, we have, we have friends now, uh, that, you know, we're, that are, we're all in the same community in the Facebook group together and they're making tens of thousands of dollars a month. So it's really literally unlimited money. Um, but we're like, no, it has to be for people like Alex. Like we have to have this available. And so like the fact that you're able to just kind of scan through YouTube and find us one day, like that was our dream. That yeah, was like, our dream. I don't understand how I found you. Like, I don't even know what I was searching for. It still blows my mind. It clearly was like, <laughs> finally, like, I don't ever go on YouTube. Like, I, yeah. it was, I remember the day. Our it souls, just, our souls yeah. were just like, you were like, I have this desire. And then we're on YouTube and all of a sudden you're on your phone and boom. And there's so many videos out there. They're like, make a million dollars on, on Etsy. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I've like watched like a whole bunch of them. And I'm like, none of the information they give is really like, and then they're like, and at the end, like they don't tell you anything and they sell you like. <laughs> yes. What? Okay. Um, so like, have you ever, like, I've done my due diligence and like, you know, we, we honestly just learned from being in the trenches and just like starting very humbly and with one yeah. single product that we made by hand. But I honestly, I, I personally have never found anyone that actually, actually teaches like anything on YouTube. Yeah. It's like everyone is just like a, it's like a big infomercial. Yeah. It's like, totally. where are all the real people in the world? Like, it's like, it's crazy. I just, yeah. you know, I feel like we're evolving though. I feel like everyone's kind of like getting used to the like, hey, I made a million dollars in five minutes and did nothing to drive a Lambo. Yeah. It's like, everyone's like, I don't think so. Like, oh, so. All right. Well, we love you so much for appreciating that and seeing us. I, I think you're the first person we've ever talked to in real life about yes. like your, uh, you know, your particular journey. That was always our intention yeah. since we had that dinner. And so, yeah, so now it's come full circle. We now realize why we had the feeling. We had the intuition. Oh, yeah. God bless. We weren't just crazy people putting stuff on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, uh, what, what do we got here? Uh, okay. So this is a really, really important question that we've gotten a million times. So how did you stay motivated? Like when things were like tough or slow or difficult, or you weren't getting those daily sales, like how did you manage to like get through that, those times? So I think like in the beginning, I, because I have had, and granted, I have this other background of like entrepreneurship also for a long time with you guys, but mm -hmm. I kind of knew that if you put in good work, it's going to happen. And yeah. I just believed that and I, it's like fitness. It's like working out. You, you literally have to keep doing it every single day to see yeah. results. And like, it's exactly the same thing as building a muscle. Like, yes. I mean, that's a great way to put it. Yeah. Honestly, that, there's no better way to put it. That's absolutely perfect. I like, feel like people can latch on to that example because everyone has done at least one workout before. And yeah. then, you know, anyone who has made any moves like in the gym, even losing five pounds, you know, yes. it takes yeah. effort. It like- yeah. 100%. It, like, yeah. It's not a magic pill that you're gonna yeah. lose weight and like be amazing. Yes. Yeah, you can't like, oh, I worked out one time a week for a month. Like, why, why aren't I so fit? Yeah. That's I mean, but I guess also to... like I had faith in my art Mm -hmm. too you know I kind of knew that my designs weren't garbage and um I think some of them I look back in the beginning now back in the beginning two months ago yeah. and <laughs> they were not that great like and I've definitely progressively gotten better um like again the fitness analogy is really good to use for that because it's like the more you design the more you put out the more you see how people are responding yes the more positive feedback you get and the more positive feedback you get obviously you want to keep going and going and going because it's like the second i get a sale i was like oh yeah like let's this is just beginning like i want to keep going 
Absolutely. And to hear, you know, people like you guys, like, I love hearing that you're getting hundreds of sales a day, that you're making like a hundred thousand dollars plus a month. Like that to me is like, Oh, I want to do that. Obviously. Like yeah. I'm going to hustle as hard as I can. So I get there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That, the, the working out analogy is so stellar because it's like, I even also think about like running, right? Like if you're like, Oh, I'm going to start running. And it's like, Oh, that first day you're like so sore and like your muscles don't work and everything. It's like, you're like, Oh my God. And you go to bed early and like all this stuff. But then like after a week, you like run just as hard and you like, don't feel anything. And then like the next week you run even farther and harder. And you're like, you still don't feel anything. You're like, you know, you're just like miles away. Like you're, you just like your soul, like recalibrates to like a higher level of like yes. output. And it really just starts with very simple task. You know, it's like, Hey, I'm going to spend 30 minutes, like working on this. Or I'm going to yep. spend, you know, 30 minutes working on it. And then maybe next week, hey, I feel like spend an hour and then yep. you get a little positive feedback. You know, it's yep. like, Oh, you got a couple of chings. Like, Oh, maybe yes. I put two hours yeah. in, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. And so I feel like that's a really good principle is understanding that like, you don't need to wake up and say, I'm going to devote, you know, 12 hours a day to this. It's like, Hey, put a timer on for 30 minutes. And like, you know, I'm going to watch one uh, video yeah. and I'm going to try to implement a couple of things and like yeah. you know, do that two or three days a week. And then let the momentum, like, you know, let the momentum start to carry you and start yeah. to take you. I think people undervalue the, the power of momentum, like you were saying. Uh, and then all of a sudden you're just like, you know, you're kind of ravenous, like as you start yeah. getting going. So um, I definitely, I was like you guys in the beginning, like when I found out that I could do this, I was like li literally doing it for 12 hours a day, but I'm not, <laughs> yeah. right now, so I literally have the time like to, to do it. Yeah. Um, I have a small baby though. So I hope anybody that's listening that has a small baby or has children, like you, you can do it. Like nothing's impossible. Like my kid's crazy. Like he's all over the place, but like I stick him in his little seat, entertain yeah. him for a while. And I am just going, going, going at the computer. Absolutely. Yeah. Intermittent chunks. The power of like, and, and there's a great uh, a guy that we love, uh, Jim Quick. I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he has a great saying that we've like lived our life by for years is that inch by inch, it's always a cinch. Yard by yard, it's always too hard. So like when you just do little tiny in incremental tasks, like actionable things, like I'm going to design for 30 minutes. I'm going to list for 30 minutes. I'm going to, you know, my baby's entertained. Like, okay, I'm going to go research for, you know, 20 minutes. Yep. That's it. That's all you have to do. Little chunks yeah. that work best for you and like integrate yeah. that in your life, you know, because sometimes people will be like, I'm going to wait until I have a day off. And then six yes. weeks go by because they get all on their day off. And on Saturday I had this and all of a sudden like, you know, you know, six months of your life goes by. So I hate the waiting. I'm always like people who take too long to do things. I'm like, just do it. Just do it. Sit down and start, start. It's yeah. not hard. Like set yeah. up your account, set up your printful account, get it done today. Like, yeah. Over is like the easiest thing to use ever. And that's coming from a Photoshop. I'm also a Photoshop user for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I had a baby too. Oh, look at the baby. Oh, look at you. See, that's a baby like you. Oh, oh. my goodness. She's yeah. like, baby, meet baby. Right. Did you say 10 months old? Yeah. Just about. yeah. yeah. Oh my just, gosh. She just turned a year last week. Yeah, it's right. so close. Yeah. It's so funny because like we never get out, and so it's like when we go to the market or something, she's just like, Who? Oh my god, she's like, like yeah. she can't even deal with people. It's yeah. like, yeah. I know the masks here are so crazy. Like, I, I, he's like, I said, they're gonna be so good at social cues, like from the eyes, because it's all they can see all the time. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the <laughs> eyes are so interesting. I feel like I've never had so much eye contact in my life. Like, when you're like with a cashier, it's like there's nothing else to look at, so you're just like. Very serious eye contact. It's like, so true. I'm like, I don't think I look at people in the eyes normally. Like, I kind of like feel a little awkward sometimes. <laughs> Nowhere else to look. Oh, little so buddy. Yeah. Just, you're so inspiring. Your story is so awesome. Like, this is all great. So. Thank you. Yeah. So, I'm so, I hope I can inspire people. It's great. Oh, yes, okay. absolutely. 1, Are you kidding me? If Kelsey and I can figure out how to inspire people and you know, your your story is way more inspiring. Like, you know what I mean? Like we've been doing this for 10 years. So you've been doing this, you know, a couple of months. So it's really cool. So your system. Hey, <laughs> amen. We, you know, and that honestly, it's like our it, that is part of the interesting part. It's like our system, and people it, people never know this or understand it or appreciate it, and that's you know 100 percent fine is that like, we've literally been an entrepreneurship for 10 years. We literally used to like hand make our own products. Like, you know, we spent, you know, eight years figuring out the fastest, most effective, easiest way to sell stuff. And so like, 
that is like, you know, this is literally like the crescendo of our like entrepreneurial career, like system. And we're just like, you know, that's where everyone else gets to start from day one. Yeah. Um, but you know, it is, it's eight years of like, you know, uh, you know, what is it like the uh, glacier, you yeah, know, yeah. underneath the water of yeah, like, you yeah, know, totally. and, um, yeah, I'm glad that this- I feel like you too. I had a very similar start. Like I screen printed in my one bedroom apartment. Oh, um, shit. Yeah. And I like, was like yeah. burning screens in my living room. And like, my husband's like, what are you doing? Like I got paint everywhere. Like oh, it, yeah. was, it was so insane. I love that. Oh my God. We'll have to chat more about that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Our coffee table. <laughs> I never want to do this again. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's how we were. That's why, like, print on demand. What? Oh, <laughs> hell no! I'm yeah. never, I'm yeah. never stocking inventory ever again. Like, I'm yeah. out. So, one of the things that I struggle with and continue to struggle with is um, designing, not for me, but for the market and for what sells. Um, doing the research every day is very, very important. Um, and also, it has been like a learning curve for me to just constantly make things that I would never wear you know that you know somebody shopping on Etsy is like oh my god that's like the best thing I've ever seen and I need that shirt yeah and I'm like I would never wear that shirt but I'm so happy that you want it <laughs> yes absolutely absolutely and, and I totally get that because like we were talking about it's like you know if, if you're more on the spiritual side and you're designing like a bunch of Christian stuff or even like uh you know like I design I'm not Jewish and I design all this funny Jewish yeah. Christmas stuff it's like yeah. Just because there's like good memes and funny stuff, but it's like that takes some work, you know. It takes a couple yeah, of minutes yeah. to be like, what's funny, you know? Like, uh, yeah. you know, like what you know what else is important though? I think like maybe um, designing also what you know very well, and I think maybe that's a really good place to start for some people. Is that absolutely? They're like, I don't know what to design, and I'm just doing all this research, and I'm like copying this design, copying that design. Like, think about the things that you really like. Um, the niches like and then maybe go into that like I'm kind of into like healthy eating and, and some I explore veganism so I'm like oh maybe those like plant-based shirts would be fun to make and like there are people just like me who want them and absolutely wear them, so that's a really that's a really really good point yeah because we're all into you know you know we all have like you know maybe like Kelsey used to be a nurse you know you maybe you're into being yeah. uh paleo maybe you're into working out maybe you're you know maybe you're like a very uh you know religious you know christian person jewish person like there that's a great thing about etsy is that there's everybody on there it's a yeah. huge amalgam of you know all the people in the united states of america and so like you can start designing with the stuff that you know that you naturally are like at least in that realm you know and then maybe slowly gradually you know you're making stuff that's like more and more out of your comfort zone yeah you know, that's a really good tip that's a super good tip. I remember when we got engaged that I was like, okay, babe, you need to start making like wedding and engagement stuff because oh I want to wear it. And he's like, I don't want to make that at all. I'm like, you yeah. need to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Major. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's hilarious because it ended up, you know, that, that, that it exploded like in the summertime, like wedding stuff is ballistic. Like, yep. it's like, you know, and it's like, now here I am like, Oh, look at me, like designing beautiful, like, you know, bachelorette party shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's like, it's very funny, but it's like, that's what we, you know, that's, that's the evolution. You go from designing, you know, vegan plant-based stuff that you like, and then tell you're a grown man that is designing, you know, bridal stuff. So yeah. that's, that's the full spectrum. <laughs> Yeah, it was really weird because like this season, I mean, I think most of my money that I've made in the last months have, have been off of this one shirt. Oh my gosh. Wow. Like over and over and over and over again. And it, it's like so weird because it was a design like I was into, but I didn't really think like so many other people were into it. And it's it's such a shock, like what kind of takes off in that because I, I made so many other shirts and I was like, oh yeah, this one's gonna hit. Oh yeah, this one's gonna hit. And it's like, no. It's oh the one God. that like, you don't <laughs> well, not think it's be big. Yeah. Yeah. And two things on that, that come to mind. It's like, you know, there you go. It's like, you know, the, you, you're always just one design away from your next hit that can have like a huge, you know, financial impact. Yeah. And the second equation is that um, I do think it's important when you start designing, you do get your shop going. If stuff that you're like pretty confident, you have like a gut instinct that like this should be good. Give it some more SEO shots, you know, give it some more, uh, you know, I'd be like, I'm going to carve out three different, you know, massive chunks of like SEO and put this bad boy in four places because like, and that is something that like, sometimes you don't get a fair shake because like, 
for whatever reason, you know, people that week that you listed it weren't buying that. And then it kind of yeah. just slowly like, you know, degrades through the algo. So that's a really good tip, you know, for you personally. And, you know, in general, people have stores, once you cultivate that instinct of like, this is a good design, you know, uh, give it a couple shots, put it on a couple of different colors, you know, maybe put it on a yeah. sweater, you know, maybe all of a sudden people are buying t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. like an ornament with it. I was like, okay. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cell phone case, whatever. Throw pillow, you know, like <laughs> whatever. I love that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, uh, one thing, you know, question that we always get is like, you know, what would be one piece of advice, uh, you know, for that you would give yourself if you were just starting out? If I was just starting out, I would say. Looking back, you know, looking back now that you're, you know, you got the 7K or. You're both in ching every day. Boom, 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 boom. It's gonna take a minute, but do just take the action. Like okay. just do whatever you can do today at this moment to get started. Amen. Open your Etsy, open your print fold, get your things, just start. Like don't get hung up in your mind, you mm -hmm. know? I'm a, I've always been a starter, but it's like, I find that that's a big problem for a lot of other people. It's like, they just, they overthink and overthink and they're like, but what about this? And what about that? And I'm like, the, the thing is like, what is entrepreneurship? It's jumping off a cliff and building the parachute on the way down. So it's like, you have to just go and figure it out. Hmm. Amen. I, I honestly <laughs> couldn't agree with that more. I feel like I'm a, I feel like sometimes I'm like, you know, just yelling at the screen, like, just take action, just do work. Yeah. You know? And it's just like, and, and we I talked about this previously, but it's like something as simple as like putting a timer for 20 minutes, 30 yeah. minutes. We all yeah. have 20 or 30 yeah. minutes. Like that's and a fact. Who cares if those designs suck? Yeah. It's just like, just put, start doing things. This is like, the more you do, the better ideas you're going to have, the better your design skill, the more your muscle is going to build. And like, yeah, just go. If anyone's listening to it, just do it. <laughs> just do it, people. That she's talking to you. Do just it. do it. Just do it. I love that. Well, that is an absolute beautiful way to end this video. We actually appreciate you so much for taking the time and helping inspire all the people that are watching this. Uh, for all of you out there, uh, smash that like button if you appreciate you know this amazing story and Alex taking that time uh, to inspire you. We love you so much. We know that you can do this. And the number one rule. Just take action. You can do it. All right. We love you guys and stay tuned until the next video. Bye now. That was awesome. Thank you so much. So much fun. I love it. I love it. Oh my God. That was so helpful and so inspiring. And thanks a bajillion for being a part of this. Oh my, God, my pleasure. Thanks for asking me. I'm so excited to, to share my story and to hopefully get other people to, to do it.